Hi guys, it's Crystal Porter here, and if this is your first time here, please subscribe, like by giving a thumbs up, comment any prayer request, prayer praise reports, salvation requests, salvation praise reports, or any Holy Spirit reports. And welcome. So today what we're going to be talking about is going to be New Year's. Since obviously this is New Year's Eve and tomorrow is New Year's Day. So what a perfect way to um, talk about that today. So first we're just going to talk about um, what the Lord put on my heart regarding this year and um, next year to come. So kind of evaluating this year, a lot of people wonder why things happen this year and is God a good God and loving God and why would he allow that to happen? So basically what happened this year was God's judgment on the earth. And the reason for that being is because we have sinned and like a good parent, let's say you are a parent, a good parent will um, tell their kids instructions and expect them to obey those instructions. And if not, there's consequences to be paid. Um, so just like a good father, um, our Heavenly Father does the same thing. If He would have allowed us to go in to our sin and continue doing the same old things, then when judgment day came, none of us would be saved and go to heaven because we would be going to hell because of the way we lived and the things we put before God. So by allowing this judgment to happen of what happened this year, uh, a lot of good things came out of it because people were faced with life and death. Um, they had to make decisions. And it forced people to think about their relationship with God, if they even had a relationship with God, and just to get spiritually on the same page as the Lord, and to really evaluate if they die today, would they go to heaven? And because of that happening, there's never been a time in history that more people have came to the Lord than this year. And so what happened was a lot of people looked at their lives and their spiritual beings and examined themselves and did come to the Lord this year. And some of them may have passed away this year, but they got to go to heaven. And so reflecting on that and going into the new year, God really wanted me to speak about where are our spiritual lives? And it's God number one in our life. And a good way to know that is when you first wake up. Do you spend time with the Lord? Or is it other things? What is your first focus when you wake up? Normally that's what consumes your day and what you think about on your day. Is it your job? Is it money? Is it family? Is it things? Is it possessions? Or is it the Lord? So if it is the Lord, I would encourage you to keep doing that. Um, the things that you're doing to put God number one in your life. If it's not the Lord, I want to encourage you to do some things differently next year as we focus on New Year's resolutions. What could be a good way to put God number one in your life? What could be a good New Year's resolution that would um, further your relationship with Christ? For me, um, it is the first thing when I wake up, I spend time with the Lord. I always want the Lord to know He's number one in my life above anyone or anything else. And that's a way to show it. Because He is my God and others may have God, their God is money or family or friends or someone else taking God's place as their number one. And God is a jealous God and he wants to be number one. So what are some of those ways that we can show God that he's number one? Number one, um, 
starting tomorrow. Make a New Year's resolution, spending time with the Lord. What does that look like to you? For me, it looks like getting up. First thing I do is I pray. I spend time praying to the Lord. Um, that's just basically speaking to Him. And also, I allow Him to speak back to me by listening to Him. And it's a still, small voice as I hear Him. And then I pray in tongues, which is an unknown, an unknown to us humans what's being said, but it's a conversation between us and the Lord that can't be intervened by the enemy. Um, and he's imparting things to me that I don't understand, but it's affecting my life in a good way. And then the next thing I do is I get into the Bible. And so that being said, I read a chapter a day. And while I'm praying, before I get into the word, I ask the Lord to give me understanding on what I'm about to read. And so I can understand and he can reveal things to me. So the scripture becomes alive to me. And so I do that. And then the next thing after that is I wor I watch a a video, a devotional video, um, ministry video um, that imparts things into me, ministry into me on a daily basis um, that God can use to help me as well. And then, last of all, I spend time in worship with Him um, and I sing a, a song on Smule to Him, worshiping Him and um, just praising His holy name. And through that whole time I'm doing these things, it takes um, about an hour. Um, so I, I spend that time with Him, fo focused on Him, worshiping Him and listening for His voice to impart wisdom to me for that day and to prepare my day of um, situations I may encounter. And uh, it's something that... I do not take lightly and I know when I don't do it my day goes horribly bad and then I wonder why it went bad and then I remember I forgot to put him first and so some of you may be saying I'm not a morning person but what I want to impart to you is how do you want your day to go do you want it to go smoothly with God helping you throughout the day or you just want to throw it up in the air and Hopefully it works out and you have a great day. And I don't take that to chance because I know the enemy is out there trying to attack me. And another thing I do is I put on the armor of God each day too before I start my day. Because when you're trying to live for the Lord, you're going to be attacked by the enemy and he'll use whoever and whatever to try to take you off path of God, what God's chosen you for. And so that's important too. And it's also important to be praying for your loved ones. And another thing I also do is I read Psalm 51 and Psalm 91. And I pray that over me and my family members. Because Psalm 51 and Psalm 91, one is a, like a sinner's prayer. And one is a prayer for protection. And the reason why those are important is because the time we're living in. We need protection from what's going on and heavenly protection. And in the Bible, there were times that um, diseases came about and spread to all these people all around. But the people that um, did Psalms, prayed Psalms 51 and Psalms 91 were protected and it didn't come um, the diseases which just went around them and did not affect them or they did not get them. So that's something else important to do. Um, to read that and pray that over your loved ones and protection while driving. Um, because that's important too. You just don't want to leave any area out um, where the enemy can attack you or your loved ones. Because whether you realize it or not, the enemy will use your loved ones to kind of get you off track. And so you have to pray for them too. So I just want to encourage you this new year. Like, what is your focus, really? 
And what are you willing to put into your relationship with God? Because in all reality, the only thing that really matters, this world is temporary, but your salvation. And do you really want to not put that first? Um, and spend an eternity in hell. When you had that opportunity to spend eternity in heaven by your relationship with Christ. So with that being said, let's um, go ahead and get into some prayer. And I'm going to pray over you guys this upcoming year. I just want to pray for you. Um, the battles you're struggling, the things that you need answered, um, and just help in this area to put God first. And um, the salvation prayer over you. So for any of you who have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, we're, I want to pray with you today to do that, going into the new year, to start your year off right. So let's go ahead and get into some prayer. Lord Jesus, I just thank you for this person listening right now. I thank you for their hearts, Lord, that maybe they want to change this coming year and they want to put you first. They just don't know what it looks like or don't even have a relationship with you, some of the people listening. So right now we're going to pray for those people. John 3.16 says, for God to love the world that he sent his only begotten son into the world that whosoever believeth him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So if you accept that in your heart and want to have a relationship with Jesus right now, we just pray that over you and we pray that God will direct your paths and help you to put him first this year and to develop that relationship um, that we also need. And I thank you for that, Lord. I thank you for these people listening right now. Maybe in their past they haven't lived a life they know that is acceptable in your eyes. And they put other things first. And other things have become their God. Like money or things or people. Anything that is not first in their lives, Lord, that you want to replace to be that number one, Lord. Help them to know what to do in those situations to be able to not have those rule their life, but have you rule their life this year. So I just thank you for that. I thank you for this person. Just be coming in obedience to watch this video. Just have an open mind and heart and spirit this year to receive from you, but also to put you first in their lives. I pray that as they do honor you and obey you in these things and put you first in their life, just help them in any area they struggle with this year. That anything that's taking their time away from you, Lord, I just pray for removal of that so this time can be spent with you. And that they'll reap the benefits of that. And I just thank you for that. Just reveal yourself to each and every person in a different way this year to make yourself known and to reveal your true self to them in the way that they can understand and answer some of their questions that they don't understand right now. And just help them. In Jesus' mighty name, I thank you and pray. Amen. So I want to thank you for watching. And um, I do have a website up. Um, that also posts these videos and tells a little bit about me and um, my mission, which is hashtag help where needed. In order to fulfill this mission and start this mission, we are on goal. We have 34 subscribers right now and 1,000 are required. And we have 33 public watch hours right now and 4,000 are required. So once we meet those requirements, we'll be able to get monetized, monetized and hashtag help where needed. That money can be donated um, to maybe you or some family members that are struggling. And so if you help me to get those subscribers and those um, public watch hours, um, then I'll be able to help some of you guys or some of your friends and family that just need a little extra help. So I thank you for that. I thank you for just listening and just being obedient this year and just watch how God uses you. And as you grow closer to him, 
he'll grow cl um, closer to you and just have an awesome, amazing relationship with him this year. And so I just thank you for that. And I did get business cards, so I'm handing those out too. Um, so if any of you guys would like those, um, um, just let me know. And having already received them, I can get those to you as well. And so that's been a blessing. And uh, just uh, th you guys are all a blessing to me and to the Lord. And just want to encourage you in this next year just to draw on Christ when you're struggling because he's there to help you and until next time bye